This is a short video illustrating tunnel ventilation using Hogslide Infinity fans. Let's take an example of a tunnel ventilation system using a 36 inch winter minimum fan and 354 inch infinity direct drive variable speed fans. After the system's minimum ventilation fan reaches 100% capacity, the house controller will activate the first infinity fan. It does this by sending two signals. One is an on or off signal and the other is a predetermined low voltage signal between 0 to 10 volts, basically telling it how fast to run. For this illustration, let's select a 5 volt signal to run the fan at 50%. Once the first fan is running, if the temperature continues to rise, the controller sends signals for the next 54 inch infinity fan to turn on at 50% power. If additional airflow is needed, the controller activates the third infinity fan at 50% capacity. Now at this point, if the house temperature continues to rise, the controller sends new voltage signals to all the fans, simultaneously increasing their speed to 75% of capacity. Another temperature rise triggers the controller to once again increase the voltage signal to all the fans, causing them to run at full capacity. As the building cools down, the controller now reverses the sequence, incrementally dropping the power of all three fans to 75% capacity then down to 50%, and then the individual fans shutting down is required. Direct drive variable speed fans deliver superior CFM to watts rating when running at lower speeds. At 50% capacity, an infinity fan can reach efficiencies as high as 36 cubic feet per minute per watt. To learn more about our infinity direct drive variable speed fans, you can go to any Hogslide store or go to our website at www.hogslide.com.